Round two. Fuck. Uh. All right. Will we ever get a sexually fluid Joker on screen? And should we? No. And no. That's fucking retarded, man. Like, there was a large push for the LGBTQA community for more queer characters on film, along with an opposite push for sexually diversity. A recent debate on whether or not Spider-Man should be bisexual made it clear some fans want characters who are usually coded as straight to appear gay or bi or trans. But what about characters who have been coded as queer in the comics being sexually fluid on screen? What if that character is quite frankly a monster? I mean, here's here's the argument. Why do you want a character that's always straight to be gay? Why do you want those sloppy seconds? Why don't you want a gay character to stand on his own? It just makes no fucking sense because otherwise you're only having like six people on screen, you know? You have the Joker this year being straight and then next year he'll be gay so you'll make a gay one and then the year after that he'll be bi and you'll make a bi one and then the year after that it'll be trans and you'll make a trans one and the cycle will just keep fucking going in the Dark Knight Returns Joker refers to Batman as darling is that what this is about because I'm not gonna read the fucking rest of it if that's if that's what it's about I'm fucking you got to be shitting me. Dude, I have... I, I don't know how many of my guy friends I've called darling or sweetheart or hun or was like, yo, let me, let me suck your dick. You know? I'm fucking losing my mind thinking about this shit right now. That... Some fucking guy thinks that the Joker calling Batman darling right the joker who's notorious for fucking with people he called him darling and then that was a signal to him that the joker is queer and wants to eat batman's ass i'm sorry go to tumblr and i'm sure you could find a bunch of pictures with joker wearing the cowl eating batman's ass while he's fucking sucking off alfred it probably exists i'm not gonna look for it but go ahead. All right. And then he's, however, this decision would be objectively misguided and harmful. How, why would this be harmful? Are you saying the Joker can't be gay? That's pretty, that's pretty homophobic. Why can't the Joker be gay? Why are you saying this is harmful? All right. The Joker's sexuality, much like his past, is a mystery and no story has the Joker ever really demonstrated in uncertain terms his sexual inclinations. His dealings with Harley Quinn might lead some to see that he's straight, but every iteration of Joker and Harley indicate that Joker sees Harley as a tool. He uses Harley attraction to use... The amount of guys out there that have side chicks that just use them for pussy or whatnot is staggering. And then this is your proof that he might be gay because he uses her as a sex doll. Are you kidding me? That's the fucking issue. I want to die. If anything, the Joker seems to feel infatuation for Batman more than any other person. No shit. That's the whole essence of Joker. The Joker, his one goal is to get Batman to break his rule of not killing people. Joker wants, Joker's goal is to cause as much chaos as possible so Batman will finally kill him 
and Joker can show the world that Batman is just one of us. Us as in people, you know? Like, that's Joker. I don't know what movie that's from, but I remember that, or it was a fucking fever dream or some shit, but whatever. All right, what about on film? Hmm? On film, the Joker has been coded as straight with one very important exception. The only exception is Heath Ledger's Joker from The Dark Knight. Ledger's Joker says that Batman completes him, which is an obvious reference, blah, blah, blah. The line is charged with a romantic subtext that is further reinforced by the Joker's desire to fight Batman forever. Spoken in an almost romantic manner. <laughs> I, don't, I don't wanna kill you. What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off mob dealers? No, 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 you, you complete me i really just want to step into the mind of these fucking people one day and just just think about the shit that goes on man like it's got to be so difficult to just go through life thinking this shit why would someone make the joker gay probably because they just want to take the most iconic character in the batman franchise besides batman himself and make him gay because why the fuck not the joker remains an iconic villain queer coding villains are a staple of genre entertainment i've watched a lot of movies i really can't think of any character on the off the top of my head that's a homosexual except the dude from watchmen that is the only fucking bad guy that's gay i can think of Making another villain gay for the sake of it would not be progressive. In actuality, it would be a regressive. All right, here's the tinfoil hat fucking theory for you. What if let's go back to Spider-Man? So they want to make Spider-Man gay, but they want to make they want to keep the Joker straight. So they're gonna make all of the bad guys straight. They're gonna keep them straight, so that way they can turn all of the good guys gay or black or fucking whatever so it's gay black whatever whatever fighting against white dudes and then it's just gonna be oh look all the fucking dudes are bad Blah. this is not to say villains can't be gay of course but if the only reason for making the joker gay is to be progressive it's a misguided reason wow this dude just fucked up your entire fucking thing in a second anyone who wants just diversity just for the fuck of it get fucked by this dude right here that's that's the fucking shit yo but writing a gay joker such as miller's would bring with it several dangerous homophobic stereotypes dick grayson when the joker is presented as a lesser man for being queer the Joker's queerness is presented... Uh, what, this whole paragraph is just saying that if the Joker was gay, it'd be a bad thing because then the main reason he would be the enemy is because he's gay. I, I hate the fact that we're doing this today. I hate that this is shit. A gay Joker would play into the harmful stereotype that queer people are inherently predatory, especially... Yeah, exactly. It's... He's... He's going to fucking say that if the Joker was gay, people would think he's bad just because he's gay. I So if someone's good and gay, it, they're good only because they're gay. Like if, you, if you're going to make one side of the argument, you got to accept the other side of the argument as well. If Joker is bad just because he's gay, then Spider-Man is good just because he's gay. That's fucking retarded. While it probably will not be the direct motivation of any crime, it will serve as a cultural reinforcement of a stereotype that does not motivate, motivate actual crime and prevent real criminals from facing consequences of their actions. It's bad to show the Joker is gay because it might harm gay people. To summarize this, this one, it's basically if the Joker was gay, he'd be looked at as bad just because he was gay. Not because he kills people or whatever. Thank God that one's done.